this is what a bunion looks like this is what it looks like corrected this is what a bunion looks like combined with hammer toes this is what they look like corrected immediately afterwards so a bunion is just a splaying of the toes not any extra bone growth like it would appear here and a hammer toe can occur because a bunion is pushing under the second toe especially and under the other toes forcing them up lots of different causes lots of different variations of hammer toes but solution is the same so you have your big bunions and your little bunions different procedures based on the severity as you can see some take a little bit longer to heal hammer toes are contractures of the tendons that lead to the problem so there's different solutions you could cut the tendon you could use plates you could use pins you could do numerous different things all on the same foot if a very severe one so as you can see numerous things done in this surgery this is about five different surgeries one two three four as well as tenotomies of these toes so this could present a, tr a problem in driving but we usually don't use casts so it shouldn't be a problem you can protect against the recovery process so that you can shower we don't like to use casts personally we go with boots and shoes and keep things protected so that you can get moving immediately so usually it can be a small incision it doesn't have to be a huge recovery process these do well this is after one week after a few weeks to a few months completely healed this is what it looks like in the middle this is what it looks like in the final product you can barely tell this is what the dressing looks like and this is the incision under the dressing and then within about 10 days sometimes you could be back into a supportive running shoe so it can be between two to six weeks in a boot driving sometimes if it's your right foot can be a little bit pain medication could be up to one to two weeks and back in shoes usually closer to 10 days rather than 60 but as you can see if lots of procedures it can take a bit longer so come to Michigan Foot Doctors. We have lots of locations and some of the best trained podiatrists in the state. We'd love to help you and let us know if we can do anything for you. Thank you. If this helped you at all, please visit our website where you can get even more information. And if this video did help, uh, give it a like and a share, and we'll see you soon. This is michigandfootdoctors.com.